Hey everyone, it's Mandy, and we had such a great time at the Black Pearl that we couldn't help but do two episodes about all the amazing food and drinks you can find there. So check it out, and maybe we'll see you there next time. So we're here with the chef at the Black Pearl. Will you introduce yourself? Yeah, Chef Nathan C. Fruchet. And Chef Nathan, what have you prepared for me here? Uh, this is a steak tartare. Uh, we take a center cut filet, um, the nicest of the, of the meat that we can get from the cattle. Uh, we dice it up nice and fine. We, uh, we season it with some different seasonings, Worcestershire, hot sauce, a little salt and pepper. We let it cure a little bit just for a few hours. And uh, then we serve it with uh, uh, a fresh egg yolk. Um, the, the accoutrement that go with it are, uh, are arugula and extra virgin olive oil with uh, uh, quartered uh, cherry tomatoes and fried capers. And if you've never had fried capers, they're amazing. It's way better than original capers. Yeah, I've never had fried capers. I've had like chicken piccata with capers before, but I've never had this. I think you'll like these better. I'm pretty excited about everything on this plate. So how do I eat this? I've never uh, had steak tartare. What's the mean, best way to do it? I, I would say, you know, with a, with a good wine and a good cocktail, either or, and uh, you know, I give you a nice little fork and a knife and you kind of take a, a, everything that goes with it and spread it on whichever one of these wonderful breads that we make in house. Uh, we make a, a house made baguette that we turn into a, a garlic crostini. We also have a sesame lavash and, right. uh, and we also have a, a, a garlic grilled toast point. Okay, so I'm gonna try this. This is what Travis said to do. So try the toast point. I'm gonna go with that. Let me see if I can do this without making a mess. Oh, that's going to be the tricky part. It's already diced and seasoned. Oh, I don't need to. So I don't need to use knife. No, okay. that's just if you wanted to look lady like to help you push your no. ingredients on top of. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty excited about all this. But yeah, I would say get a little bit of everything. Okay, good, because I want a little bit of everything. Ooh. Yeah, if you just pop it, it'll kind of run all over. Okay, let's just do that then. Fried capers, tomatoes, and arugula, wow. right? And you've never had tartare? No, I've never had it. Yeah, well, pretty excited. I'll be seeing you coming you back. You will, now. yeah, you will. I have a feeling, especially if you haven't ever had it before, because whenever you eat this, you're gonna love it. Okay, excited. Okay. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Fried, fried capers are delicious. They are. It's a nice. Without having that weird, so well watery, briny mm -hmm. pop that capers usually have, that's mm -hmm. why they're good in things like piccata because the mm -hmm. sauce kind of masks that a little bit. Other than that, I like only putting capers on my stuff. So salmon cream cheese things like that right. box and bagels mm -hmm. but when you fry them you get all the flavor and the intensity of the caper and it's just a different texture mm -hmm. wow that is so good yep you're gonna see me again okay so chef nathan we've got another delicious dish in front of me this so this is? so this is uh this is our uh our twist on a traditional uh, new england style lobster roll okay. um i get uh, i get lobster in and uh court bouillon punch it um and pull all the meat it just like when we would do a salad down here as far as you know chicken tuna but a little okay. bit of a, a twist as far as with it being seafood so mayonnaise uh, old bay a little celery a little green onion a little lemon and then i finish it uh, with the bread which is an exposed outside uh, type bun just like okay. the new england uh, lobster rolls up there uh -huh. and uh, serve it with our house made uh, kettle chips yeah uh, i'm and, ready to try it and you never had one not yours. Okay. I've had a lobster, not New England well, lobster I'm roll. Sorry. I've had one here in I, town, but I, not yours, so I'm excited. I hope it stacks up. Oh. Mm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's a big piece of lobster. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm. That's not embarrassing at all. Oh, that's, that's all right. Incredible. That's what we have napkins for. Right? And cocktails. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Delicious. Mm. Garlic bread? Uh-huh. I butter garlic grill it. Mm -hmm. I have a little panini press here on mm -hmm. the uh, on the bar line. So our kitchen is right here in the restaurant, in the bar. You get to see everything made right in front of you. All fresh ingredients, most of them brought in daily. So you're not just a chef, you're a performer. I do whatever I can. <laughs> whatever they Excellent. ask, that's whatever I try to do. Excellent. Well, we certainly appreciate your time today, and the food is phenomenal. I will definitely be back. Thank you. Yes. Can't wait to see you. Thanks.